Hello, hope you all are doing well. So today I'm going to briefly explain why Jews do not believe in Jesus as anything to worship or anything to consider to be of any importance, and also why we believe as Jews that God is one, but also in a sense that there's nothing that can represent God. So I'm not going to go over the literal words in scripture, but I'm just going to go over the main ideas. I'm going to try to keep it short. So for one, there's a reference in the five books of Moses where God says himself, do not worship anything in the heavens above or the earth beneath. Do not bow down to them. Do not worship them. And essentially what God is saying is um, anything in the heavens above or the earth beneath um, can't you know, ha have anything to represent God. Why? Because God is infinite, meaning there's nothing, he's, he, he's, he's infinite, so there's nothing that can represent him. He's, he's not only, he, his presence not only fills the entire universe, but it's also more complicated than that. It's also a matter that really he's so great and so exalted above us and so perfect that there's nothing that we would be able to even understand him with. Not the mountains, not the stars. And that's why God says himself, do not look to the skies like the nations do to worship um, God. There also is a reference in the prophetic books where God says himself that uh, to not worship, that he alone is our savior, to not worship any anyone but him. Now, there's a reference in Deuteronomy um, the Shema, or basically the prayer that many Jews say every day. And it's acknowledging that God is one. Now, how does that relate to the verse I just mentioned in the prophetic books? Well, in essence, because God is one, he is the only Savior. So to say, first of all, that the Son of God is also the Savior, or to say that we need something physical where we to represent God when we can just talk to God, it's problematic. Additionally, this is the other point. Moses talked to God at the burning bush, bush. Prophets talked to God, such as Elijah the prophet. And the, the point is, is the thought. They talked to God. The point in worshiping God is not the physical essence of God, but clearly in the prophetic books, God, including the five books of Moses, the point is actually talking to God, getting to know God. And let me be quite clear. Jews know that getting close to God and knowing God has absolutely nothing to do with any physical representation of God. And that's why we can't accept that because it is idolatry. I know many Christians are going to be offended at what I'm saying, but it is idolatry to say that a human is God. Why? Because God says it's not true. There's also a reference in the prophetic books where God says himself, um, Ultim for one, the fathers shall not die for the sins of the sons, and the sons shall not die for the sins of the fathers, which obviously is talking about all times. That always has been the case and always will be the case. There's also a reference of uh, God being our Savior, but only being our Savior, and in essence, um, vicarious atonement is contrary to the Hebrew Scriptures, because God says himself, essentially, I am your Savior, and you shall make retribution for your own sins. So in other words, if if a man is is atoning for the sins of another man, that goes against the scriptures where God actually says himself, we have to turn from our sins. That's the whole idea of Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur um, where Jews one day of the year really remind themselves of their sins, although they do that every day. But in essence, you can't say you're doing that, reminding yourselves of your sins if you're saying another man got rid of them. Why? Because he didn't. We're, we obviously still sin. So the idea is to get as close to God as possible and still recognize that you're not perfect, but God, you can still talk to. What is the point I'm trying to make? Everyone, Jews, Christians, everyone listening, we can talk to God and the focus is talking to God, the thought. The focus is not the physical aspect. Because as soon as you say, I need something physical to represent God, you're completely distancing yourself from God to an enormous extent. You're, you're focusing on idolatrous thoughts it is idolatry and you're saying well i need something physical to actually reach the spiritual realm of what god is and what is god well god is what god says he is he fills the heavens above and the earth beneath and he's not anything that can be represented god says says himself and god says i am the only savior i'm your only savior i alone i alone am, am the lord your god and when god also says nothing physical we should worship obviously god is saying that the way to talk to God is to actually talk to God in a, sp in a spiritual sense, not see anything. And that's why God says, essentially, you're really not even, 
you're not supposed to have anything physical that's supposed to remind you of like the whole exalted sense of God. Because again, God is in essence everything, but God is more than that. God is so great we can't comprehend him. And as soon as we say, oh, God is a human, God is a piece of grass, God is this, God is that, we're denying that. Now, many people say, well, Jesus made atonement for our sins. Well, again, it's complete denial of the Hebrew scriptures where God says that we make atonement for our own sins. It doesn't mean we're going to be perfect, but is any Christian perfect? No. Is any Jew perfect? No. Is any Muslim perfect? No. Is any Hindu perfect? No. Is any Buddhist perfect? No. Is any atheist perfect? No. So the point that I'm trying to make is that you can say you believe something, but the question is, do you really have that spiritual connection to God? That's what we got to ask ourselves. That spiritual connection you have with God, that will determine if you're certain, you know, you know, being idolatrous and practicing idolatry, or it will determine if you're actually talking to the Lord of hosts. I can say with 100% certainty that Jews, you know, who actually follow the Hebrew scriptures, they know God, um, despite some Christians that will say otherwise that they need Jesus to connect to God. That's not true because, again, um, we actually have that spiritual connection where we're talking about. The focus is not the, the physical aspect. The focus of all the prophets, including Elijah the prophet, Moses, all the prophets was actually talking to God in a spiritual sense. And to say that if we don't have that physical idea, we're going to be denied that. No, we make atonement for our own sins in a spiritual sense. We ask God for forgiveness. We recognize that we're sinful and we still turn to God and still connect to God on a spiritual level. Thank you so much. And um, this is just what Jews believe. Jews do not believe in Jesus, but we also do believe in God um, in the heavens that created everything and controls everything. And we do have an enormous connection to God. So make no mistake, Jews believe in God. Choose to believe in one God. We have an enormous connection to God and the one God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We just don't believe it's necessary. We know for a fact it's not necessary to have anything physical to represent God because nothing physical can or ever will represent God. Um, take care, everyone, and have a great week. And God bless you all. Bye.